Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Right now we're going to import uh, the logo that we've done designed in um, Illustrator and we're going to uh, make it into a 3D image. So just uh, go to file, uh, import, look for the file. Uh, we saved it as ADG Media for 3D, which is here. Open that, merge, yes, that's fine. Uh, single object, yes, we want it as a single object object right we've got that there if we look at the perspective view it's a bit tiny so we just scale that right click scale it up uh, to about yeah yes yeah, right uh, and we also want to rotate that make sure the angle snaps on press a angle snap is on 90 degrees would be fine that's great right uh, alt W maximize the perspective view or whichever active viewpoint port you have we've got that there we've got the bite size how we want it to do that in in uh, max would be a bit difficult so that's why we've done it illustrator done that now all we have to do is extrude just um, go to modifier make sure it's selected and then press um, extrude You'll have to go into the modify list, but I've actually got these um, shortcut keys enabled. So I can just press extrude here. Now we go down to the parameters and change the amount. Let's make the extrusion a minus figure. It's about there. Can't really see it because it's in black. So what we're going to do is press M get the material editor up and just drag and drop the first one we get come to just to change it right now we've got the 3d version of it that looks okay that's great uh, what we want to do now press the M let's change the color to uh, go to diffuse click the diffuse and change the color we want maybe an apple green or something for this just tamper with this a bit uh, darken it up a bit yeah that'll do for this purposes just to show you how to change colors um, and put some bit of shine on it so go to the specular level crank it up a bit like we've done in previous tutorials and change the glossiness so it's a bit shiny but not too shiny like that that's good uh, close this make that a bit bigger like that and rotate it slightly again how do we want it we want it maybe now we'll leave it like that trying to get an angle set correctly how we would like it that's fine just like that's fine uh, it shows that it's 3d but it's not it's not too in-depth that's that's great Um now what I just want to do is um, animate it a bit so it can be just a, a intro to the videos that we're doing here so press the auto key down here set a, a keyframe scroll it down a bit to 30 maybe 30 yep yeah. and uh, rotate it no that's in five degrees so take the angle snap off we want it about one degree it's about one degree there go one more frame one more degree to the other side about there and then rotate it again about one degree and then rotate it again about a bit more slightly about just over one degree again and then back again so basically we just want it to shake just a little bit of shaking so there's a bit of mo uh, movement on it like that take the auto key off 
check it out no so what can you see how it works it's kind of it's not doing what we want it to do so what we have to do is here is we have to set another auto key which is going to be straight so we want it there like that then you get that little shake otherwise the shake will start from zero which we don't want it to zero frame so that's all we want just like that that's all that's all we need that's all I want anyway for this so come in the intro will just come in and shake slightly like that not too much maybe a, one more press the auto key check where it's shake from and then go back one degree like that I'll make sure the auto keys on all press set key it's good there you go um that's fine so that just shows you a bit of animation like that Now what we can do is press control C. Uh, so this is a camera. And we're going to change the perspective of the camera. So from here, we have to go Alt W. Look for the right where the camera is, is here. This is the top view. Select the camera press move and get it how we want it this time we want to make sure make sure you select the target first put the target on the target which is like there then you select the camera move it from here so yeah so basically we would want it to come in like that and then shake but the target needs to be a bit to the center and the and the camera needs to be a bit wider so it catches the whole thingy like that there you go so basically we're going to come from the side this time like that so from here set auto key click the auto key set key and we want it to maybe come in where it shakes which is about about here so here we're going to set this key we're going to move the camera uh, sorry control Z move the camera here like that that's how we want it right so let's check that out see if it worked from here obviously uh, we have to press activate the viewport the camera viewport to see it work let's go back there you go that's good deselect auto key alt w so you can see it nice and large there you go that's cool like that um, and also uh, let's put some lighting on here as well so at the moment we haven't done the lighting so we're going to do the lighting now so you go to create lights check a uh, standard light would be fine check the Omni that's fine go to Alt W again because we want to get um, the light in the top view which is about there um, now go to the front view press Z scroll down a bit to see where exactly it is uh, but we've actually added a another light let's remove that light and move this one here so we have to right click to get out of this Omni otherwise you're going to continue putting in lights so now we've got this one 
Let's move it about. Because what we can do is just have the light coming in like that. So from here, set key, auto key with the light selected. Set that key, move the light, move the frame to about 10 frames and now move the light, select the light and move it across like that. Let's see what that looks like. Right, that's cool. That's fine, so we'll do that for that light. That light's fine. So now we're gonna add another light at the front. So deselect that auto key. Now we're gonna put another light in the front. So we go to front view. We can actually select this light here. Press shift. Copy it just as a copy, that's fine. Go to uh, this viewport here, this active one, which is uh, should be the top. Let's press top with T for top. Let's see if we can select that again. Yes, we got uh, Omni 2 light. Now move this light in front like that. But we're going to move that. That's how, we, that's how we're going to do it for the last frame or the same frame where it shows up at the front. This is where we want it to be. Um, as you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit bright. So we're going to modify Go to modify Omni light and we're going to just take down the intensity because that's a bit too bright about there we do. That's fine. So that's how we want it. Move the light back. Press auto key again. But before you do that, move this to zero frame. Press auto key like that. Leave the light where it is. Move this until you get to here, like that. Now grab this light, the second light, Omni 2, and move this light forward, like about there. And then move it again. And move the light a bit more forward and maybe a bit lower let's check for lower is better or higher maybe higher is a bit better like there and then move move it again we're just we're, we're just testing to see where the light is because we didn't we didn't check it in the first place where, where's the best place for the light it might affect it let's check let's check um highlight the camera one viewport let's see what it looks like uh, that's fine yeah that's um, that's okay yeah that's fine uh, so deselect auto key like that play it again that's fine once more is okay I would like it to shine here and maybe add some shadows and stuff but for this purpose I think it's fine um, play it one more time yeah that's that's okay really and truly let's uh, see if we can add a couple of more lights uh, Alt W let's see what another light looks like anyway create is in lights already Omni let's put another light there see what happens right click check the move and um, put the light down here like that let's see what it looks like with that light there anyway 
highlight this oh, that lights a bit too bright there highlight the camera one try it again at the end it doesn't really make a difference it's a bit brighter anyway let's um let's save this make sure you save your projects because uh, we got a bit carried away there but you should always save periodically uh, save um, desktop I'm saving it on a desktop 3d max what's that ADG ADG a DG to save um, I think this is fine for this purpose here yeah I think that's fine that that would do well I hope you've learned something in this tutorial just showing you how to animate a little logo to actually import a logo and actually animate it and add some um, lighting to it too so um, I hope you enjoyed this and if you can rate comment and subscribe I appreciate that